Hey guys, it's Rick. I'm back again with the uh, August haul. I've got a lot of stuff here to go through, so we're, we're just going to get right to it. So just hang out and let's go. Alright, first up, I got the Minions movie. This is the first one. I got this for a dollar on Blu-ray. I saw the sequel this weekend. I never have seen this one. It was cute. Didn't mind it. Daughter liked it. All the letters. Next, one I hadn't seen, but I saw the original. I figured I'd give it a shot. This is Straw Dogs. This is a remake of Straw Dogs. Set in the South. Got some other changes done to it, to my understanding. I figured this might might be okay. I wasn't real crazy about the original one, but for a dollar, uh, at least worth watching once. Ah, this one I'm incredibly proud to own. This is Abbott Costello and Jack and the Beanstalk. This was a, a favorite of mine. My first, first exposure to them when I was a kid uh, was one of the ones that I, that's Although there has been a couple of Blu-ray discs, but they say that they're awful transfers. This looked absolutely amazing. Really enjoyed that. Little Rascals Volume 6. This completes my Little Rascals collection, although there is a silent shorts collection coming, so I'll probably end up getting that too. Buster Keaton in the sap head. This one I had never seen. Uh, it was one of his first starring roles. Uh, he does not direct the movie, but this is what kicked him off. Our Hospitality, another Buster Keaton movie that I was looking forward to having. Hugo. I got this for a dollar. I was really happy to get this. This is a, a cute, or it looks like a really good movie. Heard a lot of friends talk about it. And a you know, family film from Martin Scorsese, so I'm curious. Rio 2. Now, I we saw the first one, and I knew I had to get this one for Sid. So we, we rented it, or we Excuse me, I bought this for, for like two ninety nine, and I was happy to get it. So there we go. The general and the three ages. Okay, I didn't buy it for the general. However, it does have an audio commentary on here. I bought it for three ages, which is oh, there's one other way you can get it, but it's with Sherlock Jr. and it's out of print. It goes for a lot of money. I didn't want to pay that kind of money. So I'll set it for this version. It's supposed to be like an alternate cut from the European release of the Three Ages. Frankenstein, the monster from hell. Peter Cushing's Frankenstein series, Hammer. Just absolutely fantastic movies. I, I have always been a big Hammer fan, so Good to have this one in the collection. Frankenstein Created Woman. Another in the Frankenstein series that sounded kind of interesting. Uh, and the last of the hammer ones that I needed. So I'm proud to have that. I think I only saw that one once in the 80s. The Great Buster. I saw this documentary on uh, Tubi, and it was so good that I wanted to get it. And I was really surprised that Cohen really slips. I didn't know they did. I'm not a big slip guy, but this looks nice. Victor Frankenstein. One of the most recent Frankenstein films that I wanted in the collection. I hadn't seen this, but I'll probably close Halloween with this one. Ah, good old Chuck. Three film collection. You got Delta Force, Lone Wolf Grade, and Code of Silence. I love Lone Wolf Grade. Delta Force isn't bad. Uh, Code of Silence I've never seen it, but I have I don't remember. 
comedy team that is just not on Blu-ray enough is Laurel and Hardy. So with this one, and I have March of the Wooden Soldiers, I think there's Flying Deuces, and I, I may be wrong. I think that's it that's available. There might be another one out there. If anybody wants, if anybody knows there's another one available in the comments, just let me know. Went to my mom's store. And normally, I uh, take a bunch of stuff and I sell it to uh, McKay's. But there were some things there I wanted to keep today. Like Stargate. I've always liked Stargate. It's a good movie. And uh, never had it on Blu-ray, so here we go. TV show Hell on Wheels. I remember this following The Walking Dead. Got it for, I think, two bucks. I'm going to watch the first season, see if it holds up. If it doesn't, it'll be gone. Ripper Street. I watched an episode of this last night. This was really good. Uh, d during the time frame of Jack the Ripper, when things are, well, things are going crazy in England. Also got Ripper season two, which it doesn't look like season three, four, and five are available. That's a bummer, but I need to have it. Here, watch it. Now this next, you know, sometimes things work out. Uh, I've been wanting to add more TV shows to my collection, and one of the ones that I just happened to want to watch is Doctor Who. And so we'll start with this one. This is the Adventures in Space and Time, which is, is a it was a made-for-TV movie that talks about the making of Doctor Who and how how it all came about. The first you know first episode, first seasons, things like that. And it was really good. And the cool thing about this is, right here, it has the it mentions there's a DVD with the original pilot and first couple episodes of Doctor Who. Doctor Who, The Day of the Doctor. I actually did this, see this on BBC America back when I had cable. And I was getting into Doctor Who, and then we cut it off and I don't get to watch it anymore. But I figured it'd be kind of neat to go back and see what I missed. So, Doctor Who, Day of the Doctor. All right, we also have Doctor Who and Time of the Doctor. Matt Smith, which I really did like, is the Doctor Who that I was first exposed to in the the newer series. I was very familiar with Tom Baker. Uh, I used to catch those reruns on Sci-Fi. And last but certainly not least, Urban Legend. Shop Factory disc. I got this for free. I had a bunch of points on my Amazon credit card, so it didn't cost me anything. Does have a reversible cover. I like the original movie poster better, but I will show that to you. There's the original. There's their poster, but not too big on this one, so I'll, I'll end up keeping it flipped the other way. But. That is everything I got for August, and we'll see what September brings. Take care, and as always.